Man, I, I tell you what, Maria, when, when I looked at it, you know, at first I was always against it because it's like, hey, these guys are, are the best of the best, supposedly. And, you know, and I would give them credit. But as as it goes on and look, I've lost games before, but not a championship game like this is unreal what happened here. And to me, you know, Belichick brought this thing up a long time ago. But you know what? It should be last two minutes of a game. Be able to, to do it. Uh, I mean, be able to challenge one, I think, is smart. Um, so, yeah, I could definitely see this changing. And they've got to change something. I mean, here's the thing, guys, and I've said this for years. This is the greatest game in the world when it comes to athletes and their speed and their size, moving at crazy speeds. Dean talked about bang, bang, right? We can't be asking officials who are 50, 60, 70 years old, or a little bit out of shape, to be making these bang, bang calls. The, the number one thing, or the, the, the fastest things that go when you age are your eyes and your reflexes, your reactionary, your reactionary stuff. How can we ask these officials, who some of them are grandfathers, to make these calls? This is not, <laughs> this is not on the officials. We're asking them to do jobs that they're incapable of, because this wasn't the only call they missed. This is on the NFL. They have to get younger. They have to get, there needs to be a year by year commitment to the financial part of it, for the physical shape part of it, coach. It needs to happen. We continue to have this conversation. A brutal missed call and an obvious call. I mean, I, I, I'm watching it with Ryan Clark in the green room before we're going to go on air, and I see it, and I call it right away both calls. I call pass interference and head to head, uh, head to head contact. And I was like, man, this is an obvious call, and then it doesn't get called. And to your point of when it is in the game, clearly you have to be looking that direction. And I heard Rex talk about if you want to watch the game, buy a ticket. If you know the flow of football, you see that the defender is completely out. He's out of sorts. He's out of phase. He is going to take a penalty to not give up a touchdown. And every good defensive player is taught that. I understand why he's making the play. But as a referee, you're watching all of this develop. You know the flow of football games. You cannot miss this call. And it did cost him the game. I understand every play is you know, quote, created equal, you have chances, you have opportunities, all of that. Not, not in this situation. It is a done deal. You're going to kneel the ball three times, kick the field goal. Your percentage are probably 99% or even higher. You're going to win this game. It costs them the football game, and a terrible way to lose a game is because of the referees to head to the Super Bowl. Truth is, for the Rams, that flag would have been worse than a touchdown. They'd been better off giving up a touchdown than they would have if that winds up getting called there. And so do you agree with the perspective of some this morning who were saying every call in a football game should be reviewable if it could decide the outcome. I, I think I think you would have to have some kind of parameters or limits on it. I like inside two minutes. I don't want every pass interference call or every holding call to be reviewable. I think it would slow the pace of the game. I don't necessarily love it. But if that's what they have to do to fix this problem, I'm in favor of it. Come up with something creative. There are a lot of smart coaches and general managers who have been around this game a long time who could sit down and solve this problem. But ultimately, if it has to be all or none, I'm on the all-in side. Let's go ahead and make it reviewable. Let's see how it does. If it slows it down if you lose challenges whatever it looks like but you can't you cannot cost a team a Super Bowl opportunity based on a late inside two minute call it's brutal man and listen he said it last night Sean Payton said it best you don't get over these things I've I played 14 years there are loss I still don't get over the losses hurt more than the, the, the highs of winning it's a tough way to lose